A delegation of young farmers visited our nation's capital recently and spent time with lawmakers talking about a number of key issues facing Georgia farmers. The Monitor's Mark Wildman takes a look at some of those issues that were discussed. In many cases, the young farmers sitting in this room are experts in their fields. Most have grown up learning how to plant, cultivate, and harvest a wide variety of crops. But what many have not had experience with could be the most important thing on the farm, and that is politics. We introduce them to our organization through this program. Uh, when they find out that we're their vehicle to get them to where they need to go and, uh, and tell their story about their, their farm and how these policies affect their farm, it's, it's important for them to see that we're here to assist them and, and make sure that their voice get, gets heard. In Washington, the group of young farmers from across the state got a good education on some of the key issues affecting their farms. Andrew Wamsley from the American Farm Bureau Federation spoke about a couple of those issues. A lot of these deal with the president's initiative on his climate action plan, uh, the first of which is uh, new coal-fired power plants. Uh, we're seeing a, a proposed rule that's out there that, that has us deeply concerned on not only the precedent that they're setting, but what it would do for uh, having the ability to, to utilize coal for power going forward. Uh, the, the second phase of that would, would start affecting existing power plants. And, you know, in rural areas, we, we tend to be a little bit more dependent on coal than other sections of the country. And, you know, from a Farm Bureau perspective, we are all of the uh, above energy uh, approach. And uh, when you start limiting a resource like coal, something that we have abundant, an abundance of in this country, uh, you know, it causes concerns. Young farmers hopefully will spend decades on their farms producing food and fiber for the U.S. and the world. And in order to do that, they need good farm policy. And while in Washington, the group thanked lawmakers for passing the new farm bill. I'm very happy to hear what they said about the farm bill being uh, passed and what the programs it looks like that's going to help us out on the farm. Um, being in North Georgia, a lot of times I don't see a lot of the, the crop part of the farm bill part, but the livestock um, assistance programs they have with the, with them. Um, detrimental loss to farms during with weather adverse conditions and stuff like that. I think you're going to help us out in the far, farming community. Another hot topic and one that may be with us for a while is immigration reform. Christy Boswell with the American Farm Bureau Federation spoke about the importance of a good farm labor supply. You know, it's always important for farmers to give their story. As effective as I like to think I am, at the end of the day, they're out there on the ground, they're living this, they have these labor issues on their farms, and they need to convey those messages to their members of Congress so Congress remembers that this is real life and these are business decisions that are affected by the immigration reform debate. Along with those issues, the group also shared concerns about EPA regulations, and one has to do specifically with an effort to remove the word navigable from the waterways they regulate. This could potentially have EPA regulating everything from ponds to puddles to very small streams. Those kinds of things make no sense at all, and we constantly fight them here. And believe you me, if it weren't for the fight we put up from time to time to keep regulation being put in place, some, some even more ridiculous than that would, would be have, uh, have, you would be having to deal with on a daily basis. One thing this group will learn as they farm over the years, there will never be a shortage of issues that they will have to speak to their lawmakers about. In Washington, D.C., I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.